We can nowadays use our computers to check an endless number of meteorological sources. My advice is always consult the official sources. In a second instance, the ones of the Italian Air Force. Read the Meteomar bulletins and also focus on the satellite images for the movement of the cloud systems. Entering the Met Office site, it's always possible to download the synoptic charts, the analytical charts and the forecast charts at 36, 48 and 72 hours. I would say that it can be considered a little excessive extending the forecast over 72 hours, as you know the weather in the Mediterranean can change all of a sudden. After checking the Meteomar bulletin, it could be useful to go to alternative sources, which are especially the GMDSS bulletins, with their subdivisions of the whole Mediterranean into various MET areas. The latter bulletins are in English, but the technical terms are often the same and easy to understand. After the actual weather is checked on the bulletins, the Meteosat images and the synoptic charts, we could certainly think of the sites delivering local observations in real time. If a more thorough view is necessary, I would advise to visit the NOAA site, the important American center. Its coverage is on a global scale and a detailed view is especially delivered about the meteo-oceanographic conditions over the Atlantic. In particular, the trajectory of the hurricanes is visualized in detail relative to the areas of the Antilles and the Caribbeans. A further final advice is a careful check of the date when the information was worked out in order not to consult already out-of-date news susceptible of causing serious mistakes.